about speed and specialties in Richmond today on The Express. On today's show, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. TBC Indoor Cart Racing. The award-winning Delizia Fusion Cuisine. We use the best ingredients, but we, we don't care about the cost. There's nothing else to do in the rainy days but stay inside and go to the rain. Stick and puck drop-in hockey. I guess it's just part of living in Canada and growing here as a kid. Taking anything old and turning it into something new again, that's a really valuable thing. The vintage vibe of Barking Hippo. Upcycled record covers, people thought that was quite interesting. See that and more local expressions. Welcome to The Express, I'm Joe Hanna Ward. Today's show is all about the good life in Richmond, BC. We've got food, we've got fashion, and we've got all kinds of family fun. Skating at the Richmond Oval, super speed here at TBC Indoor Kart Racing, and a little stick and puck for the hockey fans. At rinks like this one all over the Lower Mainland, you'll find this, Canadians playing hockey. I guess it's just part of living in Canada and growing here as a kid. There's nothing else to do in the rainy days but stay inside and go to the rink. Here at Richmond Ice Centre, there is non-stop drop-in hockey, 9 to 3, 5 days a week. This is a program that as an adult you can start off and it allows you to start and then you get a little better and you can play on a team. It's not that much, it's just a couple bucks and just go have fun, you can play all day and at your own pace. All different skill levels here, we got uh, the beginner to the more seasoned pro. No skill level at all. No skill level at all? Sounds like an opportunity for this reporter to learn how to play hockey. First lesson, tie up your skates really tight. I have to leave my ego at the door today. <laughs> Otherwise, someone will have to do it for you. Helping me out today is public skate supervisor Darnell. I just try to give people pointers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I do what I can to help people skate. A lot of it's in your head. Just don't be, uh, don't be scaring yourself about it. I'm going to use this to study myself. That's a good idea. <laughs> He's scared. After a couple of uh, practice swings. Nice. I managed to score this very unconvincing goal. You ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But that's the great thing about stick and puck. Everyone's welcome. And I'm sure these guys started out just like I did. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Richmond for the Express. Stick and Puck gets over 10,000 players a year who drop in for a game of hockey. If you'd like to be one of them, you can get a full schedule for the ice online at richmond.ca. Now, another way to get your adrenaline pumping in the city of Richmond is going head-to-head, -head, racing indoor carts here at TBC. We can do almost 75 kilometers an hour inside at two inches off the ground. It's actually pretty fast. The track itself is a one fifth of a mile, 13 turn road course with a few hairpins and a long straightaway. Well, first of all, we have to say happy birthday to Oscar turning 12 this week. And this is one of your presents. What do yeah. you think? I loved it. It was great. The yeah. first lap was just trying to get control. The second was great. And who went faster? Those guys. <laughs> By the third lap, I had a hard time catching up to him, so I know if we spend any more time out here, he'll be kicking my butt. That was awesome. It's a lot of work getting the steering. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but once you get the steering down, you can actually hit the brake and slide around the corner, so it's a lot of fun. With my cons and this racing suit, I look a little bit like a clown. How come you're not wearing a racing suit? Well, I, uh, I try and stay off the corners, and uh, so I, you know, I have less, less black uh, tar all over me, so I try and stay in front of, in front of everyone where, yeah, there's less dust in my face. I guess it's just, uh, it's kind of fun to go out with a camaraderie ship with buddies, and I think it's a competition within your friends and, and family that makes it the most fun. The European uh, racing carts, they come from France. There's really not many people that make concession carts. That's what we call concession carts or rental carts. Uh, it's, they're actually as close to a true racing chassis that you'll find.
And any advice for me when I'm out there? Uh, <laughs> slow and smooth. I'd rather take a corner a little bit slower and make the corner as opposed to going really fast into it, hammering on the brake, and then going again. The better your momentum, the faster you'll go. Cool. And any chance I'm going to flip out there? Not a chance. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and here we go. Ah! I'm kind of nervous to go fast, but you can just speed this up in the editing, right? It's true, the first lap's pretty slow and timid, but after that, you start picking up speed. And we'll see how I do later on the show, whether I win the Speedster Trophy or the Turtle Trophy when Sean and I go head-to-head. -head. Right now, it's a winner on the Richmond food scene, a new eatery that just opened this fall that has won numerous awards on the Top 100 Chinese Restaurant Competition. Like any restaurant kitchen, Delizia Fusion has lots of activity. Wei Lao is uh, cooking the vegetable, very healthy. But certain ingredients are missing. Healthy cooking is less sodium, like less salt, less oil, uh, absolutely no MSG, use healthy ingredients. Delizia is run by husband and wife team Eddie and Irene. They just won three awards from the 2010 Top 100 Chinese Restaurant Competition, including the Healthy Menu Award. We have a specialist. A consultant that help us to source all the food from different country and we directly import it to our own restaurant. We use the best ingredient but we, we don't care about the cost. Delizia serves ocean-wise seafood. In fact, it was their ocean-wise wok fried vegetables that was their winning dish. Wow. It's really delicious. Delizia also won awards for overall excellence as well as a top 10 mention for most influential Asian chef, Eddie Lee. He has more than 30 years experience. He's originally from Hong Kong, working for Shangri-La Hotel, and then moved to Canada and then worked with different big chains. It means so much to all of us, the team that are working here, because we put so much time and hard working in this place. Sometimes we work like 16 hours a day. But Delizia serves Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and even some French food proving that Richmond diners are up for just about anything. What do we have over here? Maybe a, a little bit more traditional? Oh, this is um, a blue abalone and lobster ramen in lobster bisque. We think good food is good. Doesn't matter where it comes from, as long as it tastes good. I'm Erin Shaw in Richmond for The Express. The Top 100 Awards are based out of San Francisco and they look at restaurants all over North America. So it's a pretty big deal and a pretty big honor that Delizia Fusion Cuisine was honored. You're watching The Express and we have more Richmond favorites coming up. After the break. I got two emails from celebrities asking me for more shirts and saying they love the concept. Barking hippos Hollywood attention. Head-to-head -head racing at TBC. You're watching local TV on The Express.